I can't wait to have kids with you. Right now is probably not the best time to have kids. Aziza still doesn't want to sleep with Mike. 90 Day Fiancé. Now you may be looking at that title and be thinking, Oh, um, that's a bit illegal. That's a bit rapey. And yes, there is a lack of consent being shown there. And that's why it drew me in. Because there's no way there's a TV show where they try to make people sleep with each other. I really hope that doesn't exist. Aziza and I are under a huge time crunch to organize for the wedding. Well, as you can see, we're going to be following Mike and Aziza, and we've got that lovely Go Happy music. Don't forget that Aziza still doesn't want to sleep with Mike. So apparently these two are trying to secure a wedding so that Aziza can get her visa and live with Mike. Which I'm pretty sure is illegal. I'm pretty sure it's illegal to marry somebody for a visa. But hey, there's a TV program on it, which means they're also well documented in doing their crime. I've arranged to visit a local restaurant for the wedding reception venue called J Bella. Oh no, please tell me that's not Mike and Aziza, it looks like he's walking his daughter in there. Is that his daughter? I can't really tell. I think Jay Bella would be a great place for the wedding reception because they have amazing food and they have a nice party room that would fit a small wedding for us. Yeah, I'm not one to judge about like big expensive weddings and all that because um, I'm very lonely. Not 90 day fiance lonely though. But it does look like, as somebody who's been in America for a bit, that he is taking her to a Wendy's. Doesn't look like a place that you have your wedding reception. Looks like a place where you take the lads for a Big Mac meal. Hey Joe, how you doing? Time no see, how you yeah, been? Hello, how are you? This is Aziza. Nice to meet you. How many people are you think are having? 40, 50. 40, 50, perfect. It fits in here perfect. 40 to 50 people? It's pretty good. Guest list, you know, keeping the numbers. Pretty decent. He seems like he's very happy with that. Looks like we're coming along really well. We're getting the wedding set up. At least that's what you'd expect, wouldn't you? Really? Mm -hmm. Looks wild. Oh, that's rude. Mike just instantly, his face goes. He's, he's bottling it. It's set for 48 right now. Really? Mm-hmm. I think it's plenty of room. I think that when it comes down to a, a nice venue for the wedding, maybe Mike and I are on a different page. Well, I'm not gonna lie, Aziza, you have been flown in there to marry a man for a visa. So if I was you, I wouldn't complain. I don't really think it's up to you at that point. If you're doing it at McDonald's, you're doing it at McDonald's. You don't have a choice anymore. That was taken away from you when you set yourself 90 days to get married to a man. You lost all choice at that point. I have a uh, more like girly taste. No, I'm looking at Mike and he seems like a very effeminate man. He looks like he very much would love a big fancy wedding. Mike probably doesn't care that much. I mean, you're not wrong. I feel like if he really cared, he wouldn't be flying somebody in from another country to get married to. But that's just me. I just wanted it to be a little more fancier, I guess. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Aziza. Um, 90 day weddings don't have a history of being big, fancy, extravaganzas. Isn't it like kind of tied to each other? <laughs> I don't know. I feel bad for the man who's like setting this up for him because he's just quite clearly upset with the fact that she's just slagging off his lovely, lovely. McDonald's restaurant. Aziza had her mind made up and I don't think there was anything that was going to change it but you know, I just wanted to try the food and actually give the place a chance because I know the food is amazing there. Of course you do Mikey, sneaky devil. We all know that Wendy's does do some sick burgers. Yeah this is a menu. You want to try a couple things? Sure that'd be good. Once again big man over there trying to secure the venue. Please try my food. You could see the desperation in his eyes please. We've got a lovely side of fries. We just brought in new toys for the Happy Meal. We could give a toy to everybody, please, Aziza. You look like you're only just old enough for one. I don't want to try for... That's what we're here for. Oh, that's a bit of sass there. 
from Mike, laying it down. You can really tell who the man in the relationship is so far. Where's the restroom? Where's the restroom? The restroom? Yep. That's right through the door there. Oh, that's not awkward, isn't it? He knows that there's no reason that he should be marrying a girl who looks like that. And he also knows that himself. <laughs> 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 I love that. They just leave in this awkward silence just in the editing room. They've just left this. They've just kept this in. They haven't cut any of it out. <laughs> he just turns back around to look at him. He's like, who is this girl? What is going on? Yeah, she's kind of shy about eating in public, so we'll see if it happens. Yeah. Yeah, she's kind of shy about eating in public. Yeah, that's the only issue with this. I don't think Aziza's trying to be rude, but I think she can come across as being rude sometimes. That little head shake at the end, he's just besides himself. He doesn't know what to do with himself at this point. Are you okay? Yeah. So do you want to try some? At this point, he's just pissed off. He wants him to leave. He just wants him to leave. He doesn't want this anymore. He's done with it. He's done with giving his five-star customer service. They've got the playground in the back like they normally do at McDonald's. He's even offered that, and quite clearly it's not enough. So he just wants them gone at this point. Okay. Huh? Actually, I'm thinking that maybe we shouldn't have passed out. I don't want it. You know, that's a pretty standard thing at weddings. Yeah? Oh, man. He's so pissed off. He's so angry, and none of those two seem to have picked up on it. Well, oh, I don't want pasta. Meanwhile, you've got him in the background there just going like this. You're not going to try any of it? Like a, a little tiny bite? I'm good. It's okay for a restaurant, for like some business lunch or something, but it's definitely not a place for my wedding. So you don't want to try any of this stuff? Not really. Oh my god. Look at how much food is on the table. And they're just going to let it go to waste. Aziz has been here for two weeks now, and we're getting comfortable living together. But 90 days is flying by, and our sex life is still at a standstill. Ooh, okay. What turn has this taken? One minute we're looking at Happy Meals, next minute he's talking about... Our sex life. ...not being in bed with her yet. But this was about getting married. And a wedding, not about... ...their sex life. <laughs> oh. So. Oh, oh no, please tell me they're not going to put the conversation on TV of him asking her to sleep with him. It's kind of strange that, you know, we haven't slept together yet and we're about to get married. We've known each other now for a year and a half and yeah. been in love for more than a year. And we've been talking about it for a while now. Yeah. So. Oh! Oh my head! Oh, I can feel my fucking brain melting inside my skull. Oh my god, this is absolutely horrific. And the main reason why it's horrific is because they keep on cutting back and forth, which either means this was scripted, or there are two cameramen in the room right now filming this conversation taking place. This music in the background's not helping as well. It's very off-putting. I think we need to wait with sex. Oh man, look, he's just had his testicles crushed. Can't really tell the difference between that and his head. We were supposed to do it as soon as you got here. Yeah. You're what? You were supposed to do it as soon as you got here. I think the most depressing part about that is the fact that she then goes, Yeah. Yeah. No, not yeah. No, not yeah. That's non-consensual. That's not... That's not good. You can't just fly somebody out and have them fuck you because that's what they're supposed to do. I mean, her facial expression afterwards really sums it up, doesn't it? I agree. I agree, Aziza. Divorce him already. I know you haven't married yet, but you should just divorce him. The whole thing about uh, me and Mike not having sex is I still don't feel completely comfortable. Well, I also wouldn't feel completely comfortable if all of our awkward silences were left in. 
as we had a conversation about us having sex for the first time. I just want to read the description of this YouTube video, by the way, because I've, I've just been taken out of it with this clip, but the description is incredible. Mike wants to get intimate with his fiance Aziza, but she still isn't ready. Even after two weeks of living together. Oh, Aziza, it's been two weeks. Why aren't you ready? It's been two whole weeks. Yo, the people over at TLC are sick. They're a sick bunch of people. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and turn notifications on. It'd be greatly appreciated. As well as that, you should check out these things because we are still selling them right now. So if you want to go over to internetsensation.shop and pick something up, that'd be greatly appreciated. But until next time, I'm going to pick one of you who leaves a comment on this video to be flown out to be my 90 day fiance. Leave a comment. Peace out, people. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.